of course not. Okay, and I looked him dead in the eye and I said, I have a zero tolerance policy. You are not bringing that item onto my aircraft. And get this, he starts crying. It's my son's inhaler. He needs it. Yeah, right. Okay. I'm telling you, I was reading chemicals on there that I couldn't even pronounce. I said, unknown chemicals on my aircraft? Get out of here. What do you think I did? Chuck that baby out the window. And they ended up filing a complaint, got suspended for a little bit, but worth it. <laughs> yeah, you take it easy, okay? Well, 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 well. If it isn't my favorite little passenger, it's good to see you again. Shocker, you got stopped at security, huh? Well, I've already given you all of my airline safety tips, and you have yet to catch yourself in a pickle yet again. TSA agent, Special Forces, I know you know me, and I know I know you, but I need to start with some information. Sound good? Cool. First name. Okay. Last name. All right. Oh, I see you. Have you saved under my favorites? Perfect. It says you're coming back on a returning flight. Where did you come from? Tokyo, Japan. Very nice. Been there a couple times myself. Who'd you go with? <laughs> really, who'd you go with? Your family. Okay, that's funny. I was that them over there? Okay, you win that one. Cute kid, by the way. Fine. Well, then go ahead and take a look at all these uh, suspicious items that they confiscated from you. Got to make sure I'm all nice and sanitized before I touch your slop. And I'll let you know what you can take home and what needs to stay here. Safety purposes, obviously. So, a couple questions before we begin. What'd you do over there? Oh, okay, saw some sights, good. Ate some food, fantastic, that's shocking. I didn't think you would eat food on a vacation. Come on, give me some good stuff. You went to Tokyo Disney. Nice, beautiful place, been there many times. Now, when'd you get there? You didn't bring anything back you shouldn't have, did you? Well, we'll see about that. So... Why don't we start with some of your toiletries. That's usually a big one. Right here. Hmm. Got yourself a nice canvas bag here. Zipper lining. And lucky for you, it is travel sized. Let's pop this bad boy open. See what you got inside. Okay, we already got a couple red flags in here. For instance, moisturizing lotion. This is incredibly suspicious. I think I'm gonna have to confiscate it. Why? What do you mean why? Your elbows are drier than the Sahara Desert. You haven't been using this, which means there has to be an illegal substance in there. I'm keeping that. See the badge? You don't talk back to me. Might need backup. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, no. Toothpaste. Okay. Judging from the gold coins you have in your mouth, yeah, the yellow teeth, I don't think you've been using this to brush. I think you've been using this to store illegal substances. Not allowed. Listen, if you want to keep making a commotion about this, I can call my friend Larry and my friend Barry, and they can put in some work. Oh, you haven't heard of Larry and Barry? Allow me to introduce you. Larry. Barry. <clears throat> okay. Oh. That's funny. 
body spray. Hmm, well, last time I checked, you smell disgusting. Yeah, no, you smell like an Applebee's steak that was thrown out of the dumpster last week. I'm just gonna have to take this whole bag. Yeah, no, that's not gonna be able to pass through. Hey, listen, I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. Okay. How about uh, cameras, SD cards, any type of storage units? Did you bring me those? Brought some electronics and everything. Okay. All right. I see there's a camera here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Wow. Did you look at that? Real good, huh? 4K. Cinema quality, you must make some pretty good money. Because of some side hobbies, or what? Ah, I know how these work. <gasps> of course. SD card. What do you have on here, huh? Really? Family vacation photos, videos, your kids' first steps. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to confiscate it. Yeah, sorry, it's not allowed. You can keep your hunk of plastic, but this right here, I don't know what's on it. Okay, and I don't have a place to show me what's on it. So for all I know, they could have a special secret hacking tip in their uh, file you can upload into the aircraft and <laughs> turn it into whatever you want. So we're gonna have to keep this, Deborah. Slice that in half. Boo-hoo. Maybe next time you should fly a different airline. Okay. Now, you bought things out there, right? Souvenirs. Okay. I right, well, I'm going to have to go through some of those souvenirs now, okay? Hold your horses, okay? We're going at my pace. Well, well, well. Aren't you a slick one? A piñata. Really? It's the oldest trick in the book. I've had hundreds of piñatas, thousands, come through here filled with things that aren't as sweet as candy. Okay? I'm afraid we're gonna have to investigate. Look inside. Oh, come on, what are you talking about? This is your kids. Well, what is your kid, like seven? I guarantee you they didn't even play Fortnite or whatever this game is called. Oh, really? Only one a tournament. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, your kid's username is XX Dragon Slayer XX. My kid teabagged me after he killed me. You know what? We're gonna have to definitely look inside. Fine. Do it here. I have my assistant Deborah take care of it. We're gonna do a full inspection of this, and I'll let you know if you can have it. Deborah, take this, burn it right in front of that kid over there. Thanks. Okay. Let's see what other souvenirs you brought. Hmm. Would you look at that? A nice shirt. Hmm. Oh, it says Tokyo Disney on it. The resort, Disney Sea, Disneyland. It's a pretty cool shirt. Okay, just making sure there's no uh, crazy chemicals in there or anything. Gotta uh, make sure there's no sharp objects. Okay. Yeah, no, this one's looking pretty good. You can keep this one. Luckily, I already have mine at home. What else do you get? You're one of those people. What is this? A Disney fan mister? <laughs> I'm sure this uh, is coming handy for you on those hot days. On second thought, this is a deadly device. Are you kidding me? Look how fast these are spinning. Okay, you can take off an ear with this thing. And trust me, I would know. I've had safety training my entire life, and I know what it's... 
I know what it takes to do some damage. I'm taking this. I don't care how much you paid for it, okay? It's your fault if you got ripped off. It's mine now. Dangerous killer propeller fan weapon. Disgusting. What else we got? What is this? Almond milk? You brought back almond milk from Japan? Um, yeah, no, this definitely goes past our limit of liquids you can carry in one container. This is one quart. Um, our limit is two quarts, so unfortunately, you're just under that. Yeah, mm -hmm. 30 calories per cup, that's not good. I'm gonna have to confiscate this as well. Listen, listen, if you had oat, it would be a different story, okay? But you got almond. Can't let that slide. Almond milk instead of oat. Good. Got it. Now, what's this bad boy? Huh? Crazy contraption. Hmm? What, what do we got going on here? Oh, would you look at that? It's a spy cam, huh? What are you into, huh? Some crazy spy business? Open this up, see if there's anything inside I need to be concerned about. Selfie stick. Really? No, I've never heard of those. More like selfie weapon. No. This would be something that maybe a vlogger, one of those annoying TikTokers have. I feel like I'd be doing the world a favor if I took this out. Yeah, no, you can definitely turn this into a weapon. You can kind of like just slice it with that one. You can use it as a club, you know. I can't let you take this. You know, I'm sure my kids will love this stuff. I mean, I'm sure the security department will have a great time thoroughly investigating this weapon. I'm gonna have to confiscate it as well. Listen, please, stop complaining, all right? I don't want to have to go light the McQueen on you, okay? Kerchow. Jesus. Selfie stick, prohibited. Okay. Has a Bluetooth remote on it. Okay, good. All right, let's see what else we got. <laughs> hmm. Looks like someone brought back a keepsake. What's this? A jigsaw puzzle? 108 pieces, huh? Wow. Looks pretty complicated. Nah, I'm not much of a puzzle guy. But I do know secret spy gear when I see it. Mm -mm. I already know how this works. You put together the puzzle and then it becomes a weapon. I can't let you take this. I'm sorry, okay? I know how these things work. It's not my fault you spent 60 bucks on this. It makes no sense. Here. I'm taking it. I can't risk you building any puzzles or putting anything together that comes in small pieces onto an aircraft. <sighs> Disgusting. Okay. Took care of that bad boy. What else we have? joke? Mm -hmm. You trying to remain invisible? To me? To TSA? <sighs> hmm. It appears to the naked human eye this is just a normal book. But, considering I've been through TSA training, I can tell yep, yeah, right here. Look closely. You can get a pretty bad paper cut on there. I can't let you take this on. Books are strictly prohibited. We only allow Dr. Seuss. I'm gonna have to confiscate that as well. Why Dr. Seuss? I don't know. 
you ever had green eggs and ham, just don't question my authority. Okay. Calm down. Let's see. Now, what on earth do you need these two things for? I'll give you some time. Go ahead, try to come up with something. Hitman wig. Fake mustaches. Oh, it's for a costume that you bought for your kids. Okay, yeah. Well, these are not allowed because you can hide your identity by putting them on. This too. What are you talking about? This right here is high intelligence CIA disguise gear. Okay? You pop one of these on your face, you're basically a new person. I want, I want to be able to tell you apart. I'm taking it. Bringing disguise gear onto my plane. You think I would have known better, huh? I do. Alright. Did you bring any food items? Some candy? What's this? Japanese gum. Really? Are these little innocent pieces of Japanese gum, or did you package these to look like that, and they're secretly poisonous knockout gas gum? <laughs> I guess we're gonna find out. Time to try them. Let's see. Do I want Super Mario? Do I want some Pepsi? Or Felix the Cat? It's a me, Mario. Let's see what we got. What's behind door number one? Look at that. Look at that. That's dangerous. See? Already off to a bad start. a white coating of powder on there. Could be deadly. It smells delicious. I'm sure you did that so it's irresistible to eat, huh? But I know better. I'm gonna go ahead and train my taste buds to become immune to poison. Give me one second. Good. Sorry, that's poisonous. Um, I can't let you take it through. I can already feel the effects. Okay. Listen. I, I, I don't know what makes you think you can take these items onto my aircraft, off my aircraft, or even walk them through security. We're gonna have to confiscate them. <sighs> Bringing poison through my air. It's just, it's ridiculous. Okay. Well, well, well. Looks like we found the biggest issue here. Didn't know you were loaded. Where'd you get all this American money? Hmm? In Japan? Really? Because I count one, two, three, at least $75 right here. We have a $50 limit on American money that you can bring through, and this, this passes that limit by a good amount. Let's see. What exactly are you planning on doing with all this money? <sighs> terrible. Terrible, terrible. What is this, uh, drug deal gone bad, hmm? trying to bribe me with something. Sorry, but when I became a TSA agent, I took an oath to protect my fellow man when it comes to traveling. I'm taking all that money. It's going directly into my bank evidence locker, okay? I think I'm not an honorable member. This badge it means more to me than you'll ever know, okay? You know how hard I had to work for this badge. 
I had to go to a Hooters every day for one year, 365 days straight, and they gave me a golden member pass. Yeah, free wings for life. It's tough work, but it's work that only the strongest can get through. Now, looks like we're coming to the end of some of your items. Do you have anything else to declare for yourself? Anything you want to cough up to, hmm? Wow. Silly string. Were you planning on blinding the pilots by spraying silly string into their eyes? Hmm? Can't see any other reason why you would have this deadly toxic product with you. Hmm? Doesn't look right to me. And look at that. Contents under pressure. Pretty sure you were planning on going into the cockpit, spraying up silly string all over the place, and making your way out. And what that would accomplish, I don't know. But I know it's not allowed. Terrible. Terrible, terrible. I mean, come on. When you're packing to go to the airport, did you even pack your brain? <laughs> This is funny. You think packing this and expecting me to say something like that is funny to get a gotcha moment? Hmm? Disgusting. You know what? Listen, I am going to take this and I am going to study it and I am going to flex it and I am going to try and figure out exactly whose brain this is so I can return it to them because you are sick taking people's brains and packing them into your luggage. Terrible. Terrible. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear anything about fidget toys, okay? You've already done more than enough. Okay. Let's review. You brought toxic gas, poisonous gum, drug money, you brought a piñata filled with God knows what, a book that can be used as a weapon, silly string, a puzzle that obviously turns into a map with schematics on how to hack into an airplane, and an SD card that contains hacking files. I don't know what to tell you. You broke every rule in the book. So now comes your punishment. Yeah, I'm gonna need security down here. We got code 504386. Well, just you wait. Okay. Here's my supervisor. Yep. They have to be here to witness this. Okay. It's a very bad punishment, and I want to make sure that we do this legally and we do this correctly. Are you ready? You have broken almost every rule in the TSA handbook. So we now must proceed with punishment. Ready? No. No. Bad. Bad passenger. Don't do it again. Good. Okay. Whew. It's a little tough for me to do sometimes. It's, it doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's, it's pretty rough. I hope there's no hard feelings, and I'm just gonna have to take all these items and, and find a place to put them. Okay? Please, leave with your family. Go back home, and don't ever come back to my airport ever again. Good. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to smile. Ridiculous. No more common sense in this world. <laughs>